Brothers and sisters, good evening. This is the evening prayer for Monday, February 14th, 2022, the memorial of St. Cyril Monk and St. Methodius Bishop. Let us begin our evening prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord is our shepherd. Let us give thanks and praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. St. Cyril and Methodius, shepherded their people from the dark valleys of unbelief, bathed them in the waters of baptism, and anointed them with sacramental oils, and led them to the Lord's table, where they fed upon the banquet of Word and Eucharist. And let us pray. Here comes with power the Lord God, who rules by his strong arm. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. Like a shepherd he feeds his flock, in his arms he gathers his lambs, carrying them in his bosom, and leading the ewes with care. Do you not know, or have you not heard? The Lord is the eternal God, creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint nor grow weary, and his knowledge is beyond scrutiny. He gives strength to the fainting, for the weak he makes vigor abound. Though young men faint and grow weary, and youth stagger and fall, they that hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar as with eagles' wings, they will run and not grow weary, walk and not grow faint. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. A reading from the Gospel of John. Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to him a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. The Gospel of the Lord. And on this Monday evening, brothers and sisters, let us pray the canticle of Mary. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My soul rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray to Christ, the Good Shepherd through the intercession of Saints Cyril and Methodius. And for our intercessions, the response is, Lead your people into your fold, O Lord. Lead your people into your fold, O Lord. For all of those who have not heard the word of God, send them pastors and teachers. Lead your people into your fold, O Lord. For all those who have not received the sacrament of baptism, send them pastors and teachers. Lead your people into your fold, O Lord. For all those who have not received the Eucharist, send them pastors and teachers. Lead your people into your fold, O Lord. And now let us offer to God our own personal intentions culled from the silence of our hearts. Lead your people into your fold, O Lord. And let us pray the Our Father, Our Lord's Prayer, as Jesus himself has taught us, and we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The Marian Antiphon this evening, brothers and sisters, Salve Regina. And let us pray and recite this special prayer this evening, on this Monday evening. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, 
mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for me, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. May the God in whose ways our fathers Abraham and Isaac walked, the God who has been our shepherd from our birth to this day, the angel who has delivered us from all harm, bless us and keep us in peace. Amen. From the book of Genesis, chapter 48, verses 15 to 16. And let us end our evening prayer, brothers and sisters, in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Have a good night, everybody.